So welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Max Montez TV. And you know what we talk about here. We talk about travel nursing. We talk about health and fitness. And I got a good question for you guys. And that question is, is it worth it to become an LPN? And I got some answers for you. So I can't answer that question for you. But I can answer that question for me. I'm going to say, yes, it is worth it to become an LPN versus becoming an RN. However, people become LPNs for different reasons. People become RNs for different reasons. Now, today, I would like to discuss particularly hourly rates, salaries, and get into some travel nursing hourly rates for LPNs and travel nursing hourly rates for RNs. Now, let's talk about that. Now, I have my laptop here, and I've already kind of got some stuff pulled up as far as ranges go in terms of LPN. So if you're an LPN, you just graduated, first of all, congratulations for doing that, because that was hard in itself. Welcome to the healthcare. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Welcome to healthcare environment or welcome to the healthcare brotherhood. There, there we go, there we go. I like that better. Okay, welcome. Now, as far as hourly rates, entry levels, what you're gonna be looking at is uh, probably about 18 to $20 an hour, which is really good considering maybe when you was in school that you didn't work that much. So this is definitely a pay increase. So smile for that, you've done great. All right, now for an RN entry level, you just graduating. And you're looking for that nice, good paying job. That's news for you. Uh, most of the time, the hourly rate starting out is going to be like 23, 24, 25, maybe 27, depending on where you go. Depending on where you go. All right. So let's just say that you, you know, 23, 24, 25. Okay. Congratulations to that because that's actually a pretty high rate. Um, most people, they go to school for the two year degree and they end up making 25, 26. So you're right where you should be now to my lpns you you want to make a little bit more i understand you feel like people are telling you that you didn't do the right feel you should have went for rn i'm here to say that that's not necessarily true you can make in some cases the same thing a registered nurse could make now how do you do that well first before we talk about that what i need you to do is i need you to get a year of experience once you get that year of experience you can do something now, what can you do? Well, you can do what I do. You can be a travel nurse. Now, when you do that, good things are going to happen. Now, what, what, I'm, what I mean by good things is I mean that you can now make a little more. Is what, I'm, what I basically mean is you now make a little more. And what is a little more? Well, now you've got offers, okay? You can make $1,230 a week. That's what I'm seeing. You can make in a range from $25 to $34 an hour. You just started out at 18 to 20. One year later, you're already making, or you already have the potential to make in the $30, $30 an hour range or more, 23 to 25. That's not bad. That's good stuff. Now, if you are an RN, rightfully so, you, you well, let's not say rightfully so. I'm going to say, um, according to society, let's just let's get this out of the way. According to society, they want you to be an RN before you can work in different facilities, before you can work in different hospitals. They want you to be an RN. And as a result, everything is pushed towards the RN. So the RN is going to get more opportunities, um, higher pay rates. So when I say higher pay rates, what kind of numbers am I talking about? So we're going to go uh, for your information. We're, we're, what we are on is we're on Indeed, looking at different job possibilities. And I'm just literally typing in LPN Travel, RN Travel, and you get your numbers for whatever state you're living in. So for an RN, what kind of potential do you have? You have the potential to make $40 an hour. I see something for $1,688 a week. Um, even... 60k to 100k a year now as an lpn could you do that i'm here to tell you today that you can do that however it's going to be a lot harder to get it done because you're not going to get the higher offers like the rn you're going to get high offers don't get me wrong in my opinion 
$30 and higher are great offers. Really great, all right? But if you want to make 100K a year, you're going to have to work a little bit harder than the RN does to achieve that. It is what it is. If you're willing, if you're willing and you're down for the grind, by all means, get it done, buddy. So it is possible. Um, and you can do it. However, my, my next topic to you is how much money do you really need? Do you really need to make 100K a year? Do you really need to work yourself to death to do that? It really just depends on you. Like, it depends on the bills you have. It depends on the things you require. It depends on what you're looking to get out of life. Now, you don't need that much money. Like, you don't have to make that much to have to live an enjoy, enjoyable life. Especially if you keep things simple. That's what I always say. However, if that's not you and you want to just you just want to make that much or you just want to make that much so you can pay out bills, by all means, do that. Now, see, the, the question here is, is it worth it to become an LPN versus RN? I say yes. And I've just shown you uh, the different hourly rates that people may not know that they can actually make as an LPN after you get that one year out the way. Now, most people, don't, they don't want to do that. They don't want to go from that one year straight into travel nursing because there's so much involved. And when I say so much, uh, depending on if you go out of state, you know, you got to worry about where you're going to live. You got to worry about um, how you're going to eat. You got to worry about how you're going to drive and get around and that type of thing. But, I mean, all that can be solved because some agencies, they will pay for you to stay somewhere. They will give you a stipend so that you can eat. And you can find a car. You can you can rent one. You can Uber one. You can do all these other things to get, catch you a rap. So that's really, that really shouldn't deter you from becoming a travel nurse. And not only that, um, you're worried about, you know, flights. You're worried about taxes. Well, there are some travel agencies that take out taxes for you, and there are some that do not take out taxes for you. So if you happen to get an agency that does not take out taxes for you, you will need to become some sort of an accountant or need to keep your receipts so that, when, so that when you go to do your taxes, you can hand off all the receipts that you paid because they can become business expenses. All right. So you got to get smart with it. It's, it shouldn't deter you, though, because there's, there's plenty of opportunities for travel uh, within in the LPN's realm, within the RN's realm. So definitely, you know, after you get that year, this year of experience, if you're looking to, to get more out of your degree, I would say definitely travel. Now, one thing that seems to be an issue in society today, is what I mentioned earlier, is how everybody pushes for you to be the RN, as if the LPN isn't good enough. I say the LPN is good enough. I did it because it was, it was quick, it got straight to the point, and I already had the two years of core classes for my RN degree, which were considered to be at a higher level versus the technical colleges um, core classes. So I was literally able to walk in. So, I mean, I got in quick. I got done. I was able to make a living. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a good time. Like, I have no complaints. Now, do I want to go back for my RN eventually? Yes. But if I don't get to it, I'm not dissatisfied with my choice. Like, I love the choice I made because I'm able to do everything I wanted to do initially. I'm able to work so far in all the places that I wanted to work initially. I haven't been without a job since I graduated. So I don't think I took a loss and you shouldn't either. As a matter of fact, my encouragement to you is don't let people get you down when they say um, you're an LPN, not a nurse. Because you have to look at what both of those credentials stand for. It stands for licensed practical nurse, the LPN, and then registered nurse, the RN. At the end of both of those credentials is nurse. Okay, we cannot ignore the fact that at the end of both of those credentials is the word nurse. So if that isn't obvious to you, I don't know what it is. And for those who have an opinion of such, keep it to yourself because it's really unnecessary. You shouldn't discredit the LPN because they didn't go back and become the RN. You know, people have, you know, it's just been placed into people's minds that if you're not an RN, you, you're not, you know, you're not worth it. You're not a nurse. You don't know anything. I say to you that as an LPN, you can literally educate yourself on the things that are taught in school to the RN. Granted, you would have to go back to school to get the legitimate degree. However, your brain isn't capped by what you're not taught in college. You can still learn outside of college, all right? There, there is no reason why you couldn't learn what they learned in school. No reason at all. If you wanted to go out, if you really wanted to go and teach yourself the knowledge that they learned in school, you could, you could do that. It's just that you would have to go to school to get the official degree, but 
there's nothing stopping you from knowing what they know. So don't let yourself be put down by other people's opinions. So that's pretty much all I have to share today. Um, I, I do, I will say that it is worth being an LPN versus an RN. I am enjoying my career. I am able to do what I love and, and save lives and enjoy doing it. Like I, I'm a full-fledged nurse. There's, there's no way around it. And each each degree was, was was tough. It was hard. Like the, people have to acknowledge that just because you didn't go for the RN, it, it wasn't a breeze. Like we still had to study. We still had to drink our coffee and stay up late at night to continue to study, to pass our tests, to get the knowledge in our brains so that we can not only pass the test, but understand the knowledge and retain it. Like it wasn't easy. And people, you know, I feel like people should, you know, show respect, show equal respect for both credentials. Not everybody's going to do that, but I feel like it's definitely well-deserved for LPN and RN. So what I want what, what I want you to do, all right, what I want you to do is like, share, comment, and subscribe to this video and help people to see that if you're worried about the money situation, you're going to be fine, all right? If you're worried about what you're able to do versus what you can't do, I mean, if you're not too bent on management and too bent on uh, having more opportunities and that you're not even going to get into, then I would suggest you go for the LPN. But if you're looking for up, upward mobility, technically the RN is going to have the most. They're going to have the most opportunities and the most positions open. However, as an LPN, you have plenty of stuff to do. Plenty of stuff to do. I said it within, a, within the last three years. I haven't been without work. I haven't missed a meal. I haven't missed a paycheck. I haven't missed a bill. Like Life is okay as an LPN, and it can be for you. So I just say um, congratulations if you just graduated. Don't feel short-sighted for what you went for. Be proud of what you did because it wasn't easy. See you in the next video.